YouTube. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a Discord bot using Discord.js. Now, before we begin, there's going to be a couple things that you need to actually install. I'm going to have all these links in the description. You can go ahead and just download them from there. The first one's going to be Node.js. You just want to click on this LTS here and go ahead and save that to your downloads folder. Next one being Visual Studio Code. Same thing. Click download for Windows and save that to your downloads folder and go ahead and install all of that. So once you've done this, you're going to want to go over to discord.com forward slash developers slash applications and select new application right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to give your bot a name. I'm going to name mine YouTube Tutorial. Now you're going to go over here to where it says bot on the left side. You want to click on add bot. Click yes. And now you have your bot created. So what we're going to want to do is go over to this OAuth tab. Select bot. Then select administrator. Now we're going to copy this and open this in a new tab. As you can see, if we select this, you're going to put this in your server. Mine is YouTube tutorial. I'm just going to click on continue. Again, click authorize. And then if it asks you, make sure to verify you're a human. And once this is authorized, you can go ahead and close out of this. Make sure to leave this open though, because we're going to be needing this. So what you're going to do is you're going to create a new folder anywhere. I'm just going to be putting one on my external drive. I'm going to name this YouTube tutorial. Make sure that all letters are undercase and spaces are replaced with dashes. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and open it and click up here and copy this. So now you can close out of this. We're gonna go ahead and open up Visual Studio Code. So we're gonna select File, Open Folder, and then we're gonna paste this into here and press Enter, then you wanna select Folder. So now there's a couple things we need to do before we actually begin coding. First one being opening a new terminal. So we're gonna begin by pressing Terminal and selecting New Terminal. Now we're gonna do is we're gonna type npm, I discord.js and this will basically just install the discord.js package for us so once you're done with that we're going to go over here we're going to click new file and then this config.json so we're going to create auth token you don't need to worry about how this works just copy what i'm doing and now the auth token is going to be what we do here so we're going to go over here go to general information we're going to go over to the bot tab, scroll up here and select copy underneath where it says token. Now you can go ahead and close out of this. So you're going to paste this into here. As you can see, my bot token is this. Yours is going to be different. Um, go ahead, try to do what you want with it. I'm going to be regenerating it every video. So do what you guys can come up with. Uh, we're going to add another one called a man fix. You can do this as whatever you want. For me, I'm going to be using an exclamation point. If you're done with that, you can close out of this. And if this is open, you can close out of this as well. So now we're going to create a new file called bot.js. Once you're done with that, we're going to go over to the terminal and type npm init-y. Now, this isn't required, but it is good practice in case you want to put this in a GitHub repository. And what this does is it creates a package.json or you can upload it to a hosting platform. So now we're gonna get started coding. Now I'm gonna be typing a few things out and I'll go ahead and explain it to you guys once I'm finished. So the first one's gonna be const discord equals require discord.js. So this is requiring the discord.js module and putting it under this variable. That's just gonna be const client equals a new instance of discord dot client and again this is just creating the client class from discord and putting it inside of the variable named client now what we're going to do is we're going to destructure this json file using these brackets and we're going to get the auth token and the command prefix from the config.json so now what we're going to do is we're going to say Client.login auth token. So once we've done with that, you can go ahead and say client.on ready. Unconditional love is we don't even know it because if a person 
Now this is just, this arrow here is just an equal sign and a right arrow put together. And so now once we've done with that, we can say console.log ready. So let me explain how all of this works. So basically, the client is your bot pretty much. And we're logging into our bot using the auth token that we have in our JSON, our config file. So whenever the client is ready, so client.on is an event. Ready means whenever the bot is actually logged in. So there's plenty of things you can do here. As you can see, you can detect plenty of stuff. Right now we're just gonna use ready. Now inside of these parentheses is where you're gonna put the arguments passed through this event. For on ready, there are no arguments, so you just put an empty parentheses here. So once our bot's ready, we're gonna console.log ready, which basically puts it inside of here. So what we're gonna try to do is node bot.js. As you can see, it says ready. And on Discord here, our bot, I named my YouTube tutorial, is now online. Now obviously it doesn't do anything, so let's fix that. We're gonna go ahead and stop our bot by pressing inside the terminal and typing control and C. This will basically stop the bot. So let's give our bot a command. So we're gonna do that by typing client.on, again, an event, message. So whenever a message is sent, parentheses, the value that's passed through here is message. We're gonna pass that to a function. So now there's plenty of things that we can do with this message. We can get the content of it, which is basically what the message says. We can do that by typing message dot content. And this is basically the raw data of the message, basically every text that's in the message. What we can say is if the message dot content is equal to exclamation point ping, then we wanna say message dot reply. Let's reply with pong. So now if we run our bot here, you'll see that when we go into our Discord server and we type exclamation point ping, lots of pong, which is great, that's what we want. There's one issue. Let's say we go into our configuration here and we change this to, let's say, a money symbol. And then if we try to start a bot and we do this, the money symbol instead of the exclamation point it does nothing so how do we fix that well actually it's pretty simple inside of here instead of this exclamation point we're going to change a few things instead of these single quotes and that allows us to put a dollar sign and two parentheses what we can do here is we can pass in a value our value is going to be command prefix so now after that we put ping so since we put the dollar sign it would actually read it as dollar sign ping so now if we run our bot again we go to discord and if this time if we do estimation point ping nothing happens but if we put dollar sign ping it replies with pong so that's going to wrap up today's video i hope it did teach you guys a thing or two i'm going to be continuing this series the following days or weeks however i decide to upload it Next video is probably going to be a command handler so that we don't have to individually put the commands in. It'll make it a lot simpler. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if I helped you out. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.